my people get with your people, and we'll make a podcast. Hunter, are you ready to make a podcast? He's not ready. Martin, are you ready to make a podcast? I'm ready. I'm. I'm. I think. I I'm thought we were got, making. I think a I'm podcast. making a podcast. I got coffee. Godwin's got coffee. There's construction happening all around us. Construction. 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 Cleaning ladies, man. Yeah. So if you hear anything while we're recording this one, like or or we get distracted. There's been booming and banging and sawing and all sorts of things. How many people work here now, Martin? 400? Still the same amount. I don't really yeah. know what we're doing. But Are y'all renting out offices? to? I hope so. If it make my rent go down on this place, I'm, I'm welcoming. But the more the merrier. Come on in. There's we some. got spaces for rent. Who wants to come in? I would, a lot of people. I would call it a warehouse, but it ain't a warehouse no more. It's just an office building at it's this point. It's an office building now. Yeah, it's kind of lost some of its mystique. I remember, look, when Willie told us we're moving up here, me and Goblin were the first two on the premises. And we walked in this place and said, now do what? <laughs> Why in the world are we moving here? Yeah. Like, I mean, at that time, we had about 14 different duck calls maybe. Well, hey, well, no way we could have enough room here. Yeah. We ain't ever, we ain't we ever going to fill this place up. up. You hear a crazy story about that? What? Because, you know, my dad used to run this place when it books got. Oh, yeah. He's here. the one that punched a hole in the wall. Well. Allegedly. 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 But I'm just going off stories. Just of, going off uh, folklore. Like, yeah, like Christmas um, past or something. I used to drive a forklift, forklift around here when I was Well, like maybe you nine. put a hole in the wall. Could have been. Um. <laughs> <laughs> but Willie was, he was showing Willie around and Willie was like, ain't no way that I can ever use all this. And dad told him that day, like one day, this one won't even be big enough for Duck Commander. I don't know if he believed that or was just trying to make a sale, but he said it. So it's, it's on record. Yeah. Good for him. He called it. Yeah. Thanks, Big Dave. <laughs> and Big Dave also called Sadie had like a little school play and he went up to her afterwards, like way before duck dynasty says, hey can i get your autograph i want to be one of the first ones to have this for when you go big time <laughs> so if big dave says something he ain't never said nothing like that to me yeah well that's kind of depressing now you know doesn't see it <laughs> i'm yeah i'm not gonna go sit and talk to him tomorrow morning <laughs> i don't need to know what the next five years of my life looks like apparently he can call it stay away from that prognosticator but it is weird because this was like the only room in this place. Like everything else, an open yeah. warehouse, and there was a little room back here that they did who knows what in. I, I know. No, oh, the Gugan room. Gugan. Oh, removing stickers from books or yep. something. Whenever books came back and they had like stickers from Walmart or something on them, you had to come in here and get them all nice and clean. So that that little shelf was OG. Yep. Was here, and I think that desk was too. Oh, we wow. built this stuff. Like that that's old sense. shot show booth. That's what's yeah. fun. Like those were the doors where you could see the duck calls. The display case. The display yeah. case off the shot show booth. We just kinda mm -hmm. like messed around and made us a little something something there. And but that this right here has been here the whole time. Yep. That that guy right there. Knock on wood. Yeah. <laughs> the only thing it's missing is there used to be an arbor press on this end for yep. me. Uh but other than that, it was that that was what we walked into, and they said, y'all going to be back here. We're like the furthest point away from any door. They in didn't want to hear us blowing them duck call. Yeah. I was That's like. smart. And Cy, Cy was in that corner? Cy mm -hmm. was never here. Oh, yeah. You stayed down there. Cy was here for TV only. Cy was not here because we didn't want to move. I don't know if y'all know how much a rivet machine weighs. Heavy. But at the time, there wasn't but nobody but me and Goblin and Jace and Cy. We couldn't pick that rascal up and move it up here. Mm. It took till we got real big to move that thing to the L and M building. So you like, made the reeds down at Phil's and then delivered them. He dropped them no, off every no, no. Wednesday and Sunday. He dropped them off Sunday at, at church, church and Wednesday on his way to church. Sunday yeah. at church. Yeah. I was like, Sunday didn't seem. Yeah. Like no, that Sunday we meet in the parking lot like a drug deal. He'd hand me Ziploc bags full of reeds, and <laughs> on Wednesday afternoons he'd show up early and sit here for about the last thirty minutes and and shoot the bull with us. Uh, and thus, Duck Dynasty was born right yeah, there, pretty much. Wednesday yeah. afternoons for thirty minutes. That's all it took. And then that one fateful Wednesday afternoon where he threw them in my lap and said, That's "Tell my nephew one. I quit." I'm done. Yeah, that's the last one you get from me, boys. <laughs> He's a big TV star. <laughs> well, yeah. right. Haven't you heard? Yeah. Haven't <laughs> you heard? The whole yeah. world heard, to yeah. be fair. <laughs> yeah. That was wild, oh. man. We used to do all that mess. Just 
just mm-hmm. me, Galvin, and Jason here, and he'd bring them. He he could make enough. I give the man credit though. He can make enough to keep three men working, dropping them off two days a week. So they get on him about how much he sleep and everything else. But we never waited on reeds like that. The reeds were not what was holding us up. <laughs> He gave me the my. He gave me that eyebrow raise. Right. Now about one out of a hundred batches be backwards, but look at him. <laughs> he did not disagree with that. His eyes told that story as well. But that's when that reed material was a lot harder to tell which way it was bent. When Si was doing it, we got it in little sheets, and you. Yeah. I mean, you. I had to cut it in you, them sheets. Yeah, yeah. We had to use that it big cut. Come in, nope. it it come in well, big sheet. Yeah, and we'd go to the church building and cut. It's back there in the old auditorium mm-hmm. in the back. Everybody right. thought we big time, man. No, we yeah. scraping by, son. Just, <laughs> we nickel and diamond to get it. Yeah. Oh, man. That's... Now we get it on rolls. A lot, much more predictable. Yeah. Much more predictable. It's kind of funny to see how far it's come. Now we're building out. I mean, that, now you couldn't. You used to could park a fleet of semis in here. Now you couldn't even get a daggum Tesla through this rascal anymore. It's hard to ride a bike in my office now. No yeah. more basketball. That's out. I got to say something, though, about that new hallway y'all are building. What about it? Are only tiny humans working over there? Boy, don't it feel claustrophobic? I don't. Me and you couldn't have had offices next Where's door to at? each other without waiting. In there? Yeah, that where all that sheetrock is out there. Where all the noise is coming from yeah if we were working in there we'd have to put in like mirrors on each end to see if anybody was coming or not before we decided to get up if we was leaving our office or not or at least a red light system of some sort <laughs> yeah have like one of them bridges down there on the intercoastal canal let you know a dead gum uh barge is coming huh. you're gonna be here for about 45 minutes mm-hmm. but mm-hmm. it's wild wow. here we are the 117 king's lane well don't tell them where we at now no, I'm you have a store here. I'm trying to help you, man. I'm also trying to get Little Debbie shipped here or something. Oh, preach. What holiday we got coming? Oh, it won't be long. We'll have like Halloween stuff. It don't matter what holiday. Oh, yeah, you can't have none. Mm-mm. Mm. That's unfortunate. I did. I got tagged in a in a deal from a bunch of our fans, I suppose. Apparently, there's some Little Debbie-themed uh, attraction park that just opened in, really? in Tennessee. What? You didn't get tagged in none of that? On you, Facebook, some some news outlet out of Nashville did it. I don't get. I didn't read Facebook. the whole thing. I just saw that the cover photo was like a life size Christmas tree cake all lit up, and I wow. saw that. Is it I mean, real? There's a little Debbie amusement park. It's not there. I don't know Debbie if it's park. amusement. It's like attraction. I I don't know if it's like celebrating all the little Debbies. I didn't read the article. little Debbie attraction. Park. It would attract me, boy. That'd be a way to get humans. Yeah, you like give little Debbie it's Park. Just like Set the to second open mouse this fall. Gets the cheese. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't that the truth? What is? It? Do you, do they hand out little debbies or? I'm just interested because I saw uh, a life size yeah, Christmas your, tree. The park tip? will feature several little debbie snack shaped play sculptures, such as uh, an oatmeal cream pie and nutty bar, kid and adult friendly seating. That they are making a park bench out of a nutty buddy. Oh man! A I, cosmic brownie climbing shame. wall. Why like, are they picking all my favorites? A six foot tall poly shield Christmas tree. Praise God! You know the Lord does love us. A Christmas care. tree, the nutty buddy, a chocolate and an oatmeal pie. cupcake sculpture. Bonus! That's all you need. A life size bronze statue of Little Debbie herself may be in the works. I go take a picture with her. You got to, don't you? I low on my cholesterol report. Yeah. I got some pills. <laughs> <laughs> Just take two. Y'all going to go up there and show them his take monitor. Take two, boys. <laughs> I'm good. Give me another one. I ain't got one on today. He's out. I'm He's free. It out. fell off. I was, what was I doing? I was in my shop working, putting my, and I heard something on the floor. I looked down. It's in hmm. College Dale, Tennessee. I don't know where that is. What I part of Tennessee is that in? Over yonder. Don't worry. Is I, that going to be open when me, Si, and Goblin go to outside of Knoxville? Mm-mm. Oh, man. I don't believe so. Yeah, when do y'all are go? We going? October. Maybe. It said where are we going? going? Greenville. This is up near Olatua. Ottawa? Say that 10 times it's real fast. <gasps> don't say it's Ottawa. It's right next to Chattanooga. Oh, that's where Jacob lives. What is 
I mean, O O L T E W A H. Yeah, Ottawa. You're there. You are. You will be at the Little Debbie Park one day. Yes, what your boys doing in September? Going to the grand opening. <laughs> I don't know. I'll when. be back there. <laughs> I don't know when the grand. Ottawa opening. X is cool, man. They got they got Chick Fil A and they got a bunch of different stuff right there. No, I mean he doesn't live there. That's just where you get off the interstate to go to his house so. on seventy five. Mm hmm. Yeah, on seventy five between Knoxville and Chattanooga. Right there by Fat Boy's Roadside Eats. Yeah. I love Google Maps. Because <laughs> you find places called Fat Boy's Roadside Eats. They got a really awesome brunch place the right there, The fact that you've eaten. Oh, you haven't eaten there? Where? At Fat Boy's? Is that the brunch place? Mm. No, I don't think I've eaten at Fat Boy's. Well, I'm just telling you, the Little Debbie Park, you can hit a driver to it from right that exit. It is that exit. I wonder if I just drove like past it. You did this weekend, didn't even you? Know you could have went did. and taken a picture with that Christmas tree. Yeah, three days ago. You missed it. Huh. Way to go. You missed it, man. What a life. What a life. What a life, man. Are you fixing what to a... go back up there? I may. I'm going to definitely go take a selfie with that Christmas tree. Do you know where the tractor me. supply is at that exit? Mm-hmm. Right behind it. I did. Right I drove there. past it. You right drove right past it. Hey, you good drove, man. Right, drove by. right by. Like well, that's halfway on them, though. They should have made that Christmas tree like 60 foot tall. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, and the boys were sleeping. Taller too, than so all the rest I, of the signs around. The boys were sleeping, so the chances of me stopping were slim and none anyway. So, But now I will plan accordingly. The, Brittany can take them back to the aquarium. And I'm going to go to the Little Debbie Park. Well, they get, there's, there's like a Nutty Buddy playground. You know what? I know. I I'm going to go play on it. <laughs> Why are they seafood places at the aquarium? That is rude. Was that, you know, they just didn't make it or quit <laughs> doing the tricks or what? What's the deal there? Crossbow. You ever think of that? Uh-uh. Like, there are seafood restaurants. At There's aquarium. a seafood restaurant called an aquarium. Yeah, that's what I'm talking it's about. It's called aquarium. And they're, yeah. they've got aquariums. Bad actors. And you're eating flounder and looking at flounder. That's what it is. Yikes. Let's take a break. Something. Let's take a break before we become the aquarium That's or right. the <laughs> seafood. I'm not sure. Or the water zoo. I was so confused this morning. Why? But I really wasn't. Because I was trying to ship something and it was saying all different stuff, but I didn't have to figure it out because stamps.com figured it out for me. What they, did they do? It, it, somebody changed the name of everything. It wasn't first class anymore, but I was like, well, this is going. This is easy. Boom, 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 boom. And. Two packs of crappie nibbles are headed to Houston, Texas. How many stamps did it take? I don't know. I, they just told me the price, and they printed off the label. And the, the, I weighed it. They put the sticker on there with the printer, and boom. That's it, right. That fast. And they're going to pick it up this afternoon, and it'll be it's catching crappie in Houston probably by Wednesday. Hey, ain't no problem with that. But that that is the reason I ask about stamps is because with stamps.com, you don't need any stamps. All you need is a computer and a printer. Boom. You're good to go. You don't ever have to go to the post office again. They'll even send you a free scale so that you have everything you need to get started. If you need a package pickup, boom, schedule it. Here it comes. They're coming to get it. No problem. And if you sell products online, stamps.com seamlessly connects with every major marketplace and shopping cart, like the back end of Duck Commander. If y'all want to get real nerdy, big commerce plugs right in. No problem. You still get all your stuff. And that same goes for Buck Commander, Strut Commander, Fin Commander. You order it from here. That's how we ship at Stamps.com. Running a business isn't cheap, especially when it comes to fulfilling orders for your customers. Luckily, Stamps.com has huge carrier discounts up to 84% off of USPS and UPS rates. Plus, Stamps.com automatically tells your cheapest and fastest shipping options. So that's how you know how to send it to Houston. Boom. You didn't have to do nothing. You didn't have to figure nothing out. You just clicked a button. It was there. It said this is the cheapest. This is the quickest. Boom. Yeah. Work smarter, not harder. Let these machines work for you. For 25 mm -hmm. years, Stamps.com has been indispensable for over 1 million businesses. We're, I guess, technically five of those. So get access to the USPS and UPS services you need right now from your computer anytime, day or night. No lines, no traffic, no waiting. Set your business up for success when you get started with Stamps.com today. Sign up with promo code DUCK for a special offer that includes a four-week trial plus free postage and a free digital scale. No long-term commitments or contracts. Just go to stamps.com, click on the microphone at the top of the page, and enter code DUCK. Oh, no, he called it a water, water zoo. zoo. A water zoo. Who did? Sorry. It was one of the early episodes. So we were talking. Water zoo. And you got on. Where's the Virginia Beach? Yep. And Sai said... You know what they should make? 
like a water zoo. That's right. <laughs> water zoo. Yeah. We'll call it Sea World. <laughs> sea World. <laughs> that old Shamu. <laughs> is Shamu still alive or do like they like Avatar, the way of the water? Is it? Or is Shamu like one of them animals that dies and then they get a new one? And Killer they whale. Out? Same thing. Oh, that thing died Shamu. in 1971. Shamu did? Mm hmm. Well, how'd they have that movie, Free Willy? That wasn't Shamu. That was Willy. Was it? No. Free, they freed Willy. That was his the whole, name. The movie is spoiled by the title itself. It's like, hey, what's the movie called? Free Willy. What happens? Well, they free Willy. I oh, thought cool. they were just protecting. I thought they were just protecting Shamu's identity. That's like right. Mission Impossible. That's Why it. do they call it Mission Impossible? They always do it. That's right. Didn't Every time, not I impossible. I haven't That's seen right. one yet where it was impossible. But you have to be Tom Cruise to do it. Red light, green light. Well, we're out. <laughs> yeah. You don't get me on weird movie stuff. It'll be bad. So is his name Matt Damon or Jason Bourne? See, now I'm confused. Yeah, his name is actually David Webb. That's what I'd really? read. He's seen it. He got it. He probably read the books. The guy, David Webb. Huh? David Webb's his real name. Who's? Jason Bourne's. That's his real name. Yeah. Before he got brainwashed and stuff? Mm-hmm. David Webb. Okay. I'm pretty David sure. Webb. Boy, See, I See, now I'm just really confused. brainwashed him. This is why I like simple shows. But you know what? If the whole movie Jason Bourne was just about a kid named Jason being born, it would be like Free Willy and it wouldn't be as good. No, sure wouldn't. We like action pictures. Jason Bourne is legit. <laughs> <laughs> if Phil Lawachi, you know you're legit. And Phil Robertson watched Jason Bourne. So. Oh, yeah. Back to back to back. Yeah. The whole thing. All of it. Unbelievable. What are we <laughs> Where are we going? I don't here? even know. God, when I ain't seen you in forever, what you been up to? <laughs> five two eyes are blue. Well, your eyes are blue, but you taller than five I'm two. I'm five aren't seven, you? yeah. Yeah, okay. That's what I thought. I don't know. I've been traveling, doing some traveling and speaking right. and. Trying to do building duck calls and trying to do a little fishing. That's creepy. <laughs> that's how Jason <laughs> Bourne just sliding just, in from the corner. Yeah, he just <laughs> looked, and then he just he's looked gone. around the corner and went yeah. back. And well, he, and problem now, is, if you ever made eye contact, though, that's all of it. Oh, yeah, yeah, but he knows the license plate number to every car in the parking lot. That's and at this yeah. altitude, he and can where is he at? Run right point eight miles before his hands start to shake. <laughs> <laughs> I, I watch Jason Bourne a lot. Yeah. <laughs> Wow. God, when you looking forward to Orlando? Orlando. Are y'all going to go to Free Willy or Shannon? No, we're going to the shot show. It'll be in progress I by the time Miss airs. Yeah, I cast. That I is the sport, the, the shot show of fishing. Will you be there? Yeah. That was another Free Willy reference that probably not I'll a lot of people that. got. I'm leaving tomorrow. Like a river and <laughs> Leaving Stop. on a jet plane. Stop. <laughs> but you were my friend. What up, Si? Not much. <laughs> Where are you going to eat? Y'all leaving. Where? Yeah. Tomorrow night? Mm-hmm. Top golf. Oh. Choctaw. I'm going to eat sushi. <laughs> yep. What are you doing at Choctaw? Hitting golf balls. Hitting golf balls. When y'all gonna tell him he said top golf? I'm not. I would get That's rude. <laughs> Man, y'all rude. You two, John David, are rude. Hey, look, I didn't do nothing. I was him. All I always, because she talks and I have to say, huh? And she says, you can't hear. I'm saying, you're mumbling. So time out. She tells me I'm mumbling, but she's the one. Duh. I'm. Why would I have to say, huh? If she was talking normal, that's what I want to know. I don't think you're going to win this battle, old buddy. Yeah. She said, you can't hear. You can't hear. You need to go get some hearing aids. My uncle has some. I said, if you quit mumbling, I hear everybody else. She hung out with you too much. The look on his face is priceless. <laughs> he's he's, for, he's legit. He's legit upset. That's right. I don't get it. Like he is legitimately you upset. Don't get it, boy. Does Paula mumble? Uh huh. Yeah, she mumbles. Enunciate. Yeah, she needs to learn how to announce it. Unless she's on the phone, if she's on the phone, she hollers. Yeah. Well, that's right. she thinks you can't hear her talking. Either so she, either make the phone would, call. My to mom him. does that. Yeah. 
Either like make a phone know. call to him or don't talk to him. Okay. That way he can hear. Godwin, do you mumble? No. No. Uh, everybody answers me when I talk. <laughs> Martin? <laughs> <laughs> I ain't saying nothing. You, ain't, you don't mumble? Uh, no, I do not mumble. He ain't getting into this. Martin speaks fluent Godwin, though. I can pretty well translate for you for the most right. part. That's right. Except for when he's talking about uh, my vasectomy and something being in the signs. I couldn't tell what he's talking about. Right. We got a lot of emails uh, on that. Signs in the uh, feed or something. They're, like on, they're on his side on this one. No, 100%. Well, I just didn't were. know what he was talking about. Well, I'm telling you, they wasn't in your feet. <laughs> they wasn't in your feet. Because you bled. The only time I get confused when Godwin's <laughs> talking is when he gets on Topher winning motocross. I don't. Topher is NASCAR. Oh, see, who's winning? Random is motocross. There it is. I get very confused. I don't know a lot. That boy. It. Well, I don't know much about football or yeah, that's fine. Soccer, soccer or baseball. Did you, did you see baseball. America beat Canada? I seen it on the knees. There you go. It was a controversial goal, wasn't it? Oh, yeah. That ball bounced off that Canadian's face straight into his own goal. Couldn't Hate it for him. Canada's 2 not. Oh, Beth's Canadian. I'm Beth's over there making <laughs> faces. We beat you, Beth, and not even your own sport or our sport. Now who do they play? Now we got Panama. Well, them people ought not be able to play down there. Why not? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Oh, you don't play it on ice, do you? <laughs> No, Galvin, that, soccer is not that, on ice. No, it <laughs> but it would be awesome if it was. <laughs> that's, that's hockey. But it would be much more interesting. Well, I was thinking, you know, there ain't no winners down there with the ice and stuff, but that's hockey. I thought you had I some clever you, I canal. I thought you had some clever canal joke or something. Yeah, I, 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 I didn't know. Waiting. I was waiting for the that's, punchline. That's, that's, that's like, what I was waiting on. Yeah. Jamaica had a bobsled team. Yep, that's it. Uh, yeah, yeah I've on. seen that on the news. Uh, motocross, fishing. NASCAR, deer hunting, duck hunting. I got you. Rest of it. Loving every day. Rest of it. Ain't worth much. much. I can appreciate it. Hey, we all, it takes That's all a kinds good life of. right there. Yeah. It takes all different styles. I didn't, yeah. I used to be one of the biggest golf fans you knew. I had no idea that Ricky Fowler won again or something. He <laughs> raced motocross. See? There you go. Ricky Fowler's in motocross? Used to. Two of them? Oh, or. No, he. Oh, he did. One. Yeah. Fun facts on the duck call mm, room. See, there you go. You, look, people come I here thinking they ain't gonna learn. Nothing. I told you, I know motocross. They ain't gonna. We got like seventeen movie references in that one segment. We are gonna somehow get one of them clove awards for us. All said, no, I'm so. here to tell you. Ain't no way. Trying, I'm huh? here to tell you. You're I mean, my, some of the mild cussing may just. No, I'm kidding. That just happens in break whenever. <laughs> we break we, my we should probably take. The only way we yeah. get a Clove Award is if they come out with the random category what's for the random Clove stuff. Award? What, what's that? Do? That deal that Phil and them won. I tried to write us in, but we didn't get in. Oh, that hey, was, love. We're going wow. for it next year. We need, Paula went on one of them cruises. I'll get her to talk to them boys. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're in. Yeah, there you go. Get Miss Paula. She's a little lippy. That's right, boys. But. As long as she don't mumble. That's right. No, tell them. Here lies Miss Paula. She mumbled and was a little lippy. Oh, if she wants something about deer hunt, she don't mumble in. <laughs> Man. But there's other stuff, I'll tell you. <laughs> well, Godwin, tell us how to take a break. Tell us how to take a break? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm finna go get some coffee. There you go. Uh, I'll be back in a minute. You already drank that whole cup? That's awesome. Yeah. Awesome. I need one more cup. I don't even feel it. I'm ready because I got a good night's sleep last good night. Good night's sleep. There ain't nothing like resting your head on a my pillow. Golly. And I now know. the my pillow 2.0. Are you kidding me? In your my mm. pillow sheets after you dry it off with your my pillow towel, you walk to your bed in your my slippers. It's the best. I'm telling you, life don't get no better. It can't get no better. It's like staying in a five star hotel at your house. <laughs> it is. <laughs> And it's all made in America, and Mike Lindell is a great human being with a sweet mustache. Sweet mustache. I can't give a better sales pitch than the one I've given. I guarantee you, especially that mustache. That, <laughs> that's on point. But the MyPillow 2.0 is, he thought, Mike thought he had the best one 
pillow ever made with a my pillow always then, innovating then he said no my pillow 2.0 you know why because we're gonna make it with some temperature regulating thread where it's not a finish yeah it's the actual fabric that way you keeps you for the life of the garment the my pillow 2.0 is the softest smoothest and coolest pillow you'll ever own my pillow 2.0 with temperature regulating technology is 100 percent made in the usa and comes with a 10-year warranty and a 60-day money-back guarantee i don't know why you're not going to use either one of them no the only thing you're going to say give me another yep and especially if you want me to ever get your pillow then she's going to say no that's my pillow and the I'm coolest like, part she ain't you're going to want another and right now you can get another one for free but wait i'm telling you i mean it is unbelievable they always running deals over there. They're trying to make your life better, folks. And if you want to make your life better, all you have to do is go to MyPillow.com slash duck to get the all-new MyPillow 2.0. Right now, get the all-new MyPillow 2.0, and you get the second one absolutely free when you use promo code duck. Again, just go to MyPillow.com slash duck and use promo code duck for a buy one, get one on the MyPillow 2.0. Or you can call 800-969-3137 and use promo code duck. Order now. Because when they're gone, they're gone. So you really, we, we talked about this while you was getting your cup of coffee. Uh-oh. You, you, you truly think that Paula mumbles and you don't. Because I tell you, you was upset. Everybody, not, I, not, not, look, you just gave me like I just farted. I mean, that. that. <laughs> well, here's the deal. When I talk, people answer me. So if I was mumbling, they wouldn't answer me. That's a good point. That is. But you talk to like the same six people every day. What's that got to do with (laughs) That means we've become fluent in in your mannerisms. I would. Huh. Well, when I'm speaking out of vents, and people always laugh when I tell a joke. (laughs) (laughs) He got you. You're cornered, man. Yeah, I mean, come on now. I just <laughs> we sound like we're the assembly of God now. Come on, come on now. now. Come on now, brother. Um, mm. But Paula, you know, I have to say, hon, she said, you need to turn that TV down. You need to do this. You need to do that. I said, quit mumbling. <laughs> she grabs at me. She gets mad at me. Is your TV loud? No. I got it on 20. Out of? 20. What's hundred? Yeah, that's not loud. Mm-mm. Shouldn't be. If you would have said thirty, sometimes, right? sometimes I go to thirty. Yeah, that's if Rush comes though. No, it goes to hundred then. <laughs> <laughs> it goes to hundred when Rush comes. I'm, uh, yeah. Because I need to to get the vibes going. The vibes going. Goblin's yeah. got the best vibes. Get the vibes. Si, going. what's your what's your TV level stay on? Seventy. Oh. Seventy. Out of a hundred. Now, see, I would argue oh. there's a hearing problem involved. No. I ain't no hearing problem. I just yeah. like loud. And just like so, side does Christine mumble? Well, I do have. No, she stays in her room. But we. No, I was just wondering <laughs> if you have to say, "Huh." I'm just wondering if this is a thing that comes with marriage. I'm trying to do a. <laughs> no, here's what here's what she the deal. stays in her room. No, yeah. here's what the deal is. Paula hadn't realized yet. Okay. How many times you've shot over my head in a duck blind? <laughs> yeah, there no. is. that's what I was no. about to get to. No. Well, how do we not shoot over your head? You're five seven. That's right. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Y'all make me forget what I, I was stand up. Say. I stand up in no, the blind. No. I got to shoot three times just to get me a hole where I can That's see right. the ducks. That's right. That's I got to shoot my way out of there. About the third volley, I'm pretty, pretty good shape. But no, I was just trying to figure out if the listening and the hearing thing come with. Um, longevity of marriage that's why i was asking if christine moment well or do you no, just... no. i gotta go all the way back to mom and dad uh-oh okay and and this conversation went on with them too mm-hmm. okay and my mother would say no it's not that he can't hear it's he's got selective hearing oh i've heard that too okay oh, you only the hear there. the only time you actually listening it's if she says something you want to hear her say. Mm-hmm. Otherwise, you don't even pay. Blame for that too. Hey, you don't even translate. It's just it's like hitting a wall. It's coming up here and it goes, mm-hmm. and that's all that happened. You didn't hear that because it didn't involve what you wanted to hear. Buy our box of bullets, everything will smooth out. That's right. Hey, that's right. I'll bring her some uh, venison steak. 
Yeah. Then everything's cool. Okay. Otherwise, but can we bag of corn? Can we? Can we also say though that there's a solid chance if you've hunted down at the mouth of Cyprus as much as y'all have that hearing might not be y'all's best thing from gunshots? Oh, well, hey, doll, it's, it's the thing about you really are stating you do have a hearing problem due to overexposure to a lot of shotgun going but on. But you wear your protection. Uh, wear them Tetris, baby. Wear them Tetris. Because, like, my uncle, yeah. my uncle hunted with y'all all back in the day. I was just around him. Yeah. You, yeah. He just wore his hair. He, well, now, yeah, yeah, yeah. it didn't. He, hearing aids, important part. Well, of I it. Didn't Hold on. first. Hunting. If you hunt, you need to wear hearing hearing protection. But Godwin also stood next to a paper machine for. I did. Well, no. How many years? Twenty. Twenty one. Well, that's like me. Twenty four uh, and a half years of military. Carting okay. them cutters out. So yeah. what I'm hearing is y'all may in fact have a little oh, yeah. hearing loss. Oh no. Yeah. Oh no. It ain't no problem. Not, not much. Yeah, see, he, he admits it there. Not much. Well, hey, there, to actually know how much, you would have to have a hearing test. Oh, yeah, we got them every tape. year. Now you, now, you boys, y'all do remember I was present for y'all's hearing test for the Tetra well, hey, hearing I, yeah. devices, right? Because, hey, <laughs> the doctor do told tell. me. <laughs> the doctor told me, he said, hey, your left ear, the only thing it's good for is hold that, them glasses, to hold them glasses up. Uh huh. So yeah, I've got I've got what is called a high frequency hearing loss. So maybe yeah. Christine just talks at a high frequency. Yeah. That's yeah, what I, I tell her. I can't hear. I we I, one of my chairs. I'd be and Paula said that thing's squeaking. No, I couldn't hear it. And then she told me to fix it. <laughs> <laughs> I said. So, how can I, I fix went, it if I can't hear it? I went and got some WD-40 and turned it over and squirted it in there. I said, it's gone. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I didn't know what. I just. Oh, boy. Hard to say. The look on his face when he looked at me and said <laughs> she told him to fix it. Golly. So, that, hey. was, that was priceless there. So, hey. said, how can I fix it if I can't hear it? Yeah. Okay. I went. Oh. Uh, Fake. <laughs> <laughs> back here. The, the, the he reason, does. The he, reason I'm laughing is I'll go in and get me some tea out of the refrigerator, and if I don't shut the the, the door on the, it makes a beeping noise. And yeah. you don't hear it. And I don't hear it. Yeah. You don't shut the door on your refrigerator. Yeah. Yeah. I've just you. I, well, I just push it and it don't close. And then there, it's sitting there, and then all of a sudden I shut that freezer door. <laughs> the fr- the freezer door is open. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Shut the freezer Don't you door. hear that? Don't you hear that beeping? <laughs> yeah, that was your Miss Christine yeah. impression. Oh boy! Shut that freezer door. Right. Shut the refrigerator door, dummy. Yeah, I can't uh, hear him high pitch. Oh man! I'm like, have, I'm, like, I'm like a dog. We got dog here. No, no. I thought no dogs can hear high pitch, right? Oh yeah, they you got have, the anti dog. Yeah. You like you got yeah. cat here. Yeah, but you cat can't hear it, huh? huh? You can't hear it, <laughs> huh? Hear what? <laughs> you don't hear that? No. <laughs> that's why. That's why it's so funny when you're around dogs. You know, you'll be sitting there, and then the dog will go, "Mm-hmm," because yeah. he heard something that you didn't turn hear. That, turn that old head. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, my dog's in my office right now. I'm sure she's thinking, what in the world are they in yeah, there what are they screaming carrying about? on yeah, about? Yeah, what are they screaming night? about? Yeah, I think. Yep. Oh, man. So what about you, J.D.? How's your hearing? Terrible. I listened to really loud music as a dumb 16-year-old oh, everywhere I, I went. Just dumb. No, no, and I get in trouble for not being able to hear nothing all the time. Mm-hmm. No, no, talking about this reminds me of I'm on PBS. Why Ways. did it take us 30 minutes? No, no, no. We are back, <laughs> oh, no. baby. Oh, but t- 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 time out. If we go going into PBS, oh, yeah. we start oh. fresh. Let's yeah. take a okay. break. Yeah. break. We'll be take right break. back. It was about owls. Owls. Robertson? All, all different types of owls, okay. And what, the great northerner? Great northern owl? You're telling He's the story. He's one of the bigger ones. Yeah. They have, okay, 
uh, a three prong foot hearing deal. What? Yeah. Yo, know, it snows up north a lot. Oh, is he the one that can hear under the snow? Hey, yeah, that's wild, ain't it? No, no, no. This is insane. That's him. Not only can he hear. No, that's okay. the one we got him around here. Now, you yeah. got to understand, okay? The Great Northern Owl, okay? He's in he's in the north, okay? A lot of snow. He's got three prong system, okay? One of them, there's a mouse under the snow, going around. He he can he can hey look, he's is so acute, okay? He knows how much speed he's had to hit to get him. Two foot of snow. He's under two foot of snow. He knows how fast he's got to go, how deep he's got to go to be able to get him with him claws. And it pinpoints. That's amazing. It pinpoints it. Hey, now we have satellite. Oh, no. It, it's like a. That's where the satellite sonar. ideas come from. It's like sonar. Yeah. Eagle decapitates fish. Birds are awesome. No, no. Watch oh, it. I'm glad that's a trout, not a crappie. Like it, it well, he gone. Oh, but it, it checks up. It actually showed it. Oh, okay? he's facing to use him for bait. Yeah, that's what he's going to do. He's going to put him somewhere. It actually get him a bigger fish. The medical part of it, okay, yo, know, and it's uh, he turned his head, three sixty, a dial cam. You know, mm -hmm. He's sitting on a limb, hundred yards away is a little field mouse under two foot of snow, scurrying. It pinpoints where it's at. Okay, <laughs> then it tells him, okay, you've got to fly sixty-five miles an hour when you hit the snow, snow to get deep enough to get him. You know, That's just crazy. No. Reminds me of one of my favorite. You know how good uh, your neck would feel unreal. if you could turn the your field head mouse that much? is fast. But the owl sees it not. I bet you would pop a hundred times. Ricky Bobby. What just happened? You don't remember when Ricky's father-in-law told him that? Mm -hmm. yeah. What did he do? The field mouse is fast, but the owl sees at night, Ricky. So they do that with <laughs> their hearing? Uh, see, that's another thing. They got night vision. I got night vision. Yeah, but not a lot. I don't like, have to turn on like the light when I'm going to a deer stand. And did you know that a owl... Makes no sound when he's flying. Yes, I did know that because one time that's I was, where we got the stealth from. Is they studied the owl? Mm. Okay, and that's come up and head. came up with okay, his wings like it. Yeah, they watched the stupid owl when he's flying. He's the only one that does not make a noise. I was in a deer stand one time, tree stand, and all of a sudden there was an owl right beside me at night, and I freaked out because it was huge. Oh, no, no, there no. There he goes. Look at him. No. There he goes. As silent right. as death. There's your stealth bomber right death. there. No noise. I Watch him. Got Watch him. him. Oh, he got oh, him. He already got, got it. No. <sighs> Never knew what hit him. Never knew. Imagine if you're a mouse, man. That right. would be a tough life. And you're Unless. just, you're up under the snow living your best life, yeah. like, oh, finally. Can't nothing uh, get me. Yeah, I'm I out got, here. I'm just gonna eat me some cold seed. I finally you know? got that oh. wind blocked off. Yeah. Same same thing with a fox. And then whop, talon uh, to the back uh, of the head. Same yeah. thing with a fox. Oh yeah, he dive. Them fox yeah. know how to I'm dive. Sit, I'm sitting in a stand, high seat in Germany, hunting the roe deer. And I looked. I, I walked in it before daylight. Big open field, pretty green grass. Got in a stand. Well, it's daylight now, and I'm watching. And I look over at 400 yards. Here comes a red fox. Well, he's coming towards where I walk through, and you can see it, you know, with the wet dew. Boop. Yeah. <laughs> Why don't he break his neck? No, no. And he was doing that right there it's called on that mouse. field. It's called mousing. Yeah. But Watch it. That's the behavior. Look at him. Yep. He turned his head. Sideways. Oh. Soup. He looked like Cy and John David. Yeah, he went all the way to his oh, hind no. end. He looked like he looked like Cy and John David got on a duck call. Oh, I'd no. have him a little head oh, start there. He got <laughs> him. All right, I can sit down and rest now. <laughs> <laughs> same thing with the uh, 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 polar bear. What polar, polar bear got the same kind of hearing? Now you've told me. That's off. why. Look, hey, under snow, six foot of snow. What's See the polar bear? A full seal uh, for seal. 
Good night. Here, yeah. He yeah. hears him under the snow, and then he does the same thing that Fox does. Jumps up, come down, unreal. Turn yourself around. Yeah. That's what Ooh. it's all about. <laughs> Did you find a clip? I did. <laughs> Whoa, oh, oh, look at it. It's through the ice. Right. Boom. Yeah. Right through. Polar bears are so cool. Look at it. Oh, I'm going to fall over. The St. Louis Zoo had a polar bear, Perfect and that thing was way bigger than me. Cat so oh, he, got, catch, he catches he got him. And that's a final. Boy, them things are slick. Look, now he's eating them. He's going to have a nice cold Coca-Cola afterwards. He that's probably right. will. Right. Everything Not tell the kids. I just go to show you everything goes better with a Coke. <laughs> polar bears taught us that. Man, that, that polar bear ne- taught us, boys. That polar bear was beautiful, and right. now it's red. Right. Mm. Wow. Animals are cool. What else is there? You know what I determined? I, don't, I can't live up there. Hold In on. the Arctic? Yeah, my, my hearing ain't even suspect. Right. I couldn't do that. That no. polar bear would sneak up on you and rip your leg off and then beat you with it. He going to have to come in my mm. house. <laughs> yeah. Talk about his buddy, I ain't leaving. Hey, no. <laughs> that's, that's why I made a rule a long time ago. I don't ever hunt nothing that will hunt me back. That's a good. That's a good. And hey, that's a good rule. That's a good mm. way to live your life. Oh, I you need a big gun, <laughs> just like I got that Encore. I'm fixing to get me a three hundred eight barrel, but I don't know what size to get. What do you mean? Fifty. I don't know what how long to get it. Oh, I well, can't make my mind up. Because I longer, got that. I got the longer that, the better. Well, I know that, but I got that suppressor I can put on it. And I don't know if a 20-inch barrel with a 1 and 12 twist. That's what I'm thinking. Cause I've so got, you don't quite have full, two full turns on the barrel by the time it gets out of there? Yeah, I don't want it spinning very much. Hmm. Just time it gets down range. Did we just get in a polar bear hunting? No, you better not with a three hundred eight. Because you know where <laughs> the further the further you go, well, a three hundred eight, he'd put him down. You put it in the right place. Well, yes, I would a twenty two rifle, uh, but no. I'd like to hedge my bet. As it's <laughs> turning, as you, as that bullet's turning out of that barrel, is that Carter? Uh huh. Keeps going oh, to the right. That's tight. That was at the St. Louis Zoo. Whoa, they got a polar bear. Look at that! Look at that rascal! Look how big he is! Yeah, that is a giant. I bet he'd get through six foot of snow after a seal. Six, six seven. That's a big eight. animal. You don't really appreciate how big they are because when oh, they're out there in them okay. wide open he's spaces, floating. there ain't nothing to measure them with. He's floating. But <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, he was swimming. And I said, boy, if that glass doesn't hold, me and my kids are out of there. I was going to trip one of them other kids and run. You I'm would, wouldn't you? Got to protect me and mine, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you need to kick somebody in the knee again we already know what you do we already know uh, i always got a plan of escape at the zoo in case there's a there's a disaster at hand in case there's a whole jurassic park situation i've seen it too many times <laughs> it's not safe know, out there, you, especially Mark, if you're a goat you said something though that you the size i mean look how big right. that rascal no is. no because a grizzly bear now he oh. big, but when you see him, there's always stuff for like scale. Like, yeah. but yeah. that polar bear just walking across a bunch of white. Yeah, stuff white. Had, like, they had grizzly white. bears. The grizzly bears weren't nothing compared to that old beast. Yeah. No, these little baby grizzlies. But I, I've seen them grizzlies up north there. That <laughs> when you can see them from that far away, you're like, yes, yeah, that's, that's a big critter right there. Hey, they had one uh, mounted and, and a full mount, mm-hmm. fourteen feet. 14 feet high. The polar bear? Yeah. No, not the polar bear, the grizzly. Oh, the grizzly bear. Oh, from end to end? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, from head to point. He was stood. They mounted him standing up. Mm-hmm. And you come in from outside, that was back when they didn't have, have any kind of jet weight. You had to down steps and go inside. And you come around the corner, corner and come around the corner, and there he is. Did you flinch? Oh, hey, I like that a heart attack. <laughs> You know, and look, I couldn't get over. He looked like he had uh, his claws looked like they was that long. Yeah. On it. who would win in a fight, a gorilla or a grizzly bear? Hmm. It would be a good fight, but I would go with the grizzly. I'm gonna go with the gorilla. Why? They're fast. fast. I watched Tarzan the other night. You don't want to mess. Mm. <laughs> 
Just we ain't saying. talking about King Kong. We're talking about just the regulation true grill. Yeah, but them things are ripped. Rip your arm off. Yeah. They're strong. So is them grizzly. Oh, that's true, too. They got fingers, though. Who? Grizzly? Uh, no, gorilla. You think he'll poke him in the eye? No, but he <laughs> shoot back. <laughs> 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 Oh, wow. it's Tuesday time. There goes our clove award. <laughs> <laughs> nah. Are you kidding me? Ain't nobody else discussing who would win in a fight, gorillas or grizzly bears. Okay. Any F Downs ain't doing okay, that. Okay, who does it say would win? Well, I don't know that they've ever fought them. Right. Well, well hey, they ought to. Well, hey, they got to. No, it, it, says, would be, it would be a fair match. No, there's, no it wouldn't be fair. AZanimals.com says grizzly bear all the way. Well, well, I, I, yeah, he's mean. Hey. All he got to well, do hey, is look, scratch him. He's got him. He'll cut him, cut him up, and just he'd fall in three pieces. The re- well, no, no. The reason I said that is because a grizzly bear can hit a full grown elk that weighs 2,000 pounds and break his neck. Just whop. He's seen that on PBS. That's it. Imagine what he'd do to a giraffe. No, no. So who win, a grizzly bear or a great white? Well, honestly, like if we like have a bracket, that's maybe that's our next well, hey, year's bracket. I'm going I'm assuming with, we still have a show. I'm going with the great white. Okay. Yeah, I don't think the grizzly bear. The grizzly bear is going to be out of his element. Well, what if we put the great white on land? Oh, uh, the grizzly would win. Well, then we've got the a whole Moana win. situation with Sharkhead. I mean, it's just kind of weird. Then work for Maui, but. Sorry, I'm into kids' movies now. How yeah. many movies um, have we referenced in this? I think. Look, I saw this gorilla in Colorado. Now how are you gonna pick him in a fight? Look, look how. I mean, look at my man. He's that? posted. Up. That's the. It's the look, quiet ones. Look you gotta how be aware of. Look, look how he's lovable. Got his boy. legs my yeah. man, straight chilling, looking like he's listening. How to does the, that yeah. look lovable? Looking like he's listening to Abba or something. Oh no, no he's listening like, to yeah, Russ. Yeah. He's waiting on a cup of coffee. Look at him. Oh, he's fixed to bust out rapping. I mean, he looks like he's ready to go to the Eras tour or something. He's fixed to break down in a rap song, boys. Just, I don't know, but that sucker was scaring me. <laughs> I had a plan if he broke through that glass. He's too. trying to get his hands on some T-Swift sweatpants, man. Look That's at that. Right. You gonna That's pick right. him over a grizzly bear? I think so. Uh, hey, he's JC, got friends. Hey, he, he got, he, he's got J.C. beat on rapping. Who is J.C.? That grizzly has. That's J.C.'s cousin. Oh, yeah. J.C. I was like, yeah. J.C.? Boy, hey. Yeah, he's from, he's not He's not in an empire state of mind. But anyway, let's let's he take our call, last break. I said I haven't talked about rapping. feeding a rhino. We'll do that next episode. Well, yeah. <laughs> rhino. Slippy and ambient. All right, we'll be back. Right. Right after. We'll be right back. We're in the email section. We're in the emails. We're Send in. me emails because I I've do never, enjoy reading them. I, I've never emailed y'all. I wish you would. I bet it would be awesome. That's right. It better be hilarious. Email us a joke, Gavin. That's right. And then answer it. Yeah. On air. That way I have time to think about it for like a day. That's kind of like, where do you take a horse when he's sick, Gavin? <laughs> I don't know. To the horse pedal. Yeah. <laughs> ah! Yep, there's a reason Godwin does that and not I you. Know. <laughs> I know. It was on Boo. Yeah. It was on Bluey the other night. I saved it for Godwin, sorry. New episodes yeah. coming out. That's tight. Uh tomorrow. No no, two days, Wednesday, the twelfth. I didn't know that much. I only do it. I only know that much because the boys turned nine months then. I thought it was kind of cool this coming out. It's a know. great show. Makes you want to be a better dad. I don't yeah. think he's real though. He's yeah. a cartoon. Um, Ben emails in. Where's Ben from? Doesn't Where's say. Where's Kelly? Ben. Well, we yeah yeah Ben. Okay. <laughs> oh Ben. Oh Ben. And oh his, Ben. Look, him and his brother Luke have been watching the podcast he's for a while. Gentle. His brother is sixteen. And a, I'm quoting this, super gorgeous girl has told her friends that she likes him and she's been waiting since February for him to ask her out and he is too scared. Oh, I thought he was going to say turkey season. <laughs> oh, this ain't yeah. Phil Robertson. Right. This, is, hunt, hunt. this is Luke. Boy, anyway. got to be careful. So part of the reason he is scared is because she just got a new BMW. A man, that is a reason Ooh. to go be unafraid hmm. yeah and he has a 99 chevy pickup with no air conditioning and has never had a girlfriend and been on a date and he doesn't know i'm sending this so hopefully he doesn't beat me up but do you have any advice for him like what to do on the first date first off the world's greatest first car is a 1999 chevy silverado z71 with that third door that 
Butterflies Open. Your boy mm-hmm. had one too. Of course, it was 2005, so it was probably a little cooler back then. But don't be worried about. I mean, if it's hot outside, just ask her to drive. Right? <laughs> That's what he's worried about. No. He's worried because she's got a way truck, cooler car than. Better roll that wonder down. It's cheaper to rent a car than fix your air conditioner, so I'd just go rent one. But Rent a car? Right. For well, a she day? ain't got to know. She going to find no. out. Yeah, when your truck was in the shop getting the air conditioner yeah, fixed because you didn't want to take her in a hot ride. Okay. What I mean, happens when that I would just don't work after that? Good point. Well. Put her in the truck and see if she'll stay with you. Well, tell her to get in the back. Hold on. Where do they live? Over. I don't have a, a great reference. There's some trees in the picture of the truck, but I don't know. Uh, what kind weeping of willow. Hey, put her in the truck and see if she'll stay. That's. Hey, I mean, you will find out don't. how much she likes you if it's 95 degrees and you will go on a date with no air yeah. conditioning. Yeah, but see it, fam. Well, this ain't about the truck. I'm married, but if it gets 95 degrees in my truck, regardless of the air conditioning, it just gets to stinking because they've been wet clothes and wet dogs. And, like, I mean, there's just some stuff you can't get out of one. You better be wearing Tommy John's. And too. I'm just guessing right now, if he's 99, so that truck's 25 years old, there's 25 years of stuff going on inside that rascal. All right. How you know it ain't clean? Well, I'm not saying it ain't clean. I'm, I'm not, just saying hold on. time is not Hold your, on. I'm saying time go. is Pretty not Pretty clean your, rig for oh 1999. Oh, 100%. But I bet there's been a dog or a spit cup spilled or something in there. Like, I mean. Got a little team real He's tree. got a real tree floorboard. Man, I had this exact And song. he's got a baseball glove. So awesome. That's what I'm talking about. I want to buy the girl this in truck, the truck from him. See how neat that truck is? It don't stink. Right. It's pretty clean. Texas Ranger Cup. He's from Texas. Do not take her in this car. It's too hot in Texas. Yeah, no. this is a safety issue. Look, he's now. got a nitrous <laughs> button on there. No. See that? And he plays baseball. What is that? What is it? Is that a horn? That's oh, a horn. that's a nitrous. Is that one of them like ridiculous loud horns? It is. I don't know. Just hold on. We need to disconnect that first of all. <laughs> yeah, don't take. Th- I don't think you need your baseball glove either, Hammer. Well, he might be going to play baseball. This isn't the picture of the date. No, I was just telling him. He won't ask. To, I'm just telling him things to think about. Okay, so the question we have to ask, though, is... But he got them chrome mirrors. Look at them now. That, that, I'm telling well, you, I him. had that Is that truck. your truck? Mine was gray with a red pinstripe down the side. Of course Six-inch Skydracker lips, 35-inch Mickey Thompson. That thing was sick. Any Hoosers, Si, is it okay to pick her up in that truck? And is it okay for him to say, hey, can you drive? I have no air conditioning. I don't see a problem with that at all. I, I just know. No, hey, hop, in my truck. hop in, darling. Let's go for a ride. Yeah, I mean, at you, the end of the day... You good-looking thing, you. At the end of the day, if she's that materialistic... That's true. It's time to roll on. But at the same time, if you're in Texas and, and you're oh. in the summertime, you ain't got no air conditioning, no window ain't going to do. Hey, Hammer bar one. I'd you pick somebody her up, else's. I'd pick her up and then I'd say, hey, next week we'll go out in your car. Unless y'all are going, unless your first date is going fishing or something where you're going <laughs> to end up sweating and stinking anyway. Yeah. You plan accordingly. I'm just going to give this advice to Luke. Or meet there. Just it, meet there is a great option. But, I mean, it's kind of confident if you just say, hey, you want to go on a date? Cool. Pick me up at seven. Yeah, I'll be waiting. Oh, yeah. And just say, look, I do want to go on a date with you, but but I ain't got no air conditioning. I don't want you to be uncomfortable. If you're cool driving, I got the meal. I right? You got it. the cool BMW. And also, I've never ridden in a Beamer. That'd be kind of tight. Right. That's right. It'll Pick go up fast. in that Beamer. Don't drive it, though, because if you wreck it, her parents going to kill you. You'll never recover. Yeah, don't drive. Don't drive. Leave that to her. Let her wreck it. But, you know, whatever. I don't really know how we helped or hurt. We probably didn't do a whole lot there. Well, he got good luck to you because you're 16 year old and you got a super gorgeous girl who drives a Beamer after you. Yeah, that's right. Say, hey, go ahead. You big don't dog. sound like you have a lot I of problems. I don't yeah. take. Say, look, we can go with my truck. I ain't got no air, but go but. pick her up. <laughs> but <laughs> that's that's what I look that, at. That's, her, that's the deal. You want to go out? I look at it yes and tell no. the truth, Donnie. Don't worry about it. Hey, things are fixing to heat up around this joint anyway. All right. <laughs> <laughs> there goes our award, sir. <laughs> well, I'm just telling you like it is, boys. Love is in there. Okay? The award's hey. gone. Hey, no. Hey. It's fixing the heat up anyway. Yeah. That's right. Si, Everything fixing the heat up, boys. Never mind. Go ahead. Well, we got one more, don't we? Yeah. You got a quick uh, one? No, we're, it was verse of the daytime. Oh, go ahead. Hit it. Huh. Isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Hammer down. 
I don't have a verse about it sitting to heat up anyway. Except How about unless not, you've no. lived your life in the wrong way. This don't is a good lie. verse for well, just what I said. Uh oh, is it? Yeah. Go sure. with it, J.D. Sure. <laughs> Isaiah 6, 8. Then I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send? And send me. Will come for us. <laughs> and I said, Here I am. <laughs> send me. Look, right. full sin. Ask her right. out. Send yeah. me, baby. Put me in, coach. <laughs> Put me in. I'm ready. <laughs> Unreal. All right. We'll see y'all next time <laughs> right here. <laughs>